Listen, I have no idea if you can relate, but when I was a little kid, I used to play dressed up. And honestly, I had so much fun, which really made me think, why should we stop? Maybe because you're an adult and you're supposed to be doing other stuff. But we don't do rational. This is pretty much costume design. I think we can bring it to our life and have a little bit of fun. But now I want to do things a little bit differently. So I saw this documentary from Ralph Lawrence and their whole point of the documentary to sell me their lifestyle. And honestly, they won. I got it, I'm involved in it. So I thought it would be actually really fun if I could dress up like a Ralph Lauren model. Even though I don't look like one, objectively. I don't know how this is gonna end. I might end up looking like an old lady, like a corporate person that I'm not real, I'm not. But also it could be really cool. And the only way to know is to do it. So let's do it. Okay. I've been stalking their website for hours and one thing that I did notice is that their makeup is really, really subtle. So that's what we're gonna do today. To get the energy, we have the natural fuel of coffee. <sighs> I'm already halfway actually. To have a really soft look, I went for like a brown mascara. Too Faced sent me this one. I tried to really focus on having like natural skin, whatever that means. And I'm not gonna do a liner, which makes me feel a little bit weird because I always have like a little wing. We're not gonna go all the way, kinda try to stick to it. Eyebrows, very, very natural. A little bit of blush, just to look healthy. You know, like I'm on Apollo match and a little bit of hint of sun. Well, actually, if I'm getting a hint of sun, that should be more of a bronzer. Let, let's do a little bit of a bronzer. And I'm gonna stick to my regular combo. Hustle not. I'm gonna leave you this in the description box because this lipstick have been a hit for me. The color combo, it's beautiful. I have my curls from yesterday, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm just going to brush them and that's gonna be my hairstyle. Since they're going for something really natural. The first move that we're gonna pull, it's gonna be inspired on this photo. I don't have the exact same pants, but I definitely have something similar. Okay, so these are the pants and I'm just going for a white shirt. I feel a little bit boring, I'm not gonna lie, but let's trust the process. I saw a lot on the website that they styled their neck up, so I think I'm gonna do something like it, just to try to bring that essence to it. I definitely do jackets. I have this option, but it's very classic. It makes me feel like a writer, like I drink a lot of tea. I also have this option. This one is actually from their collection, Lauren. Kind of cool. Like one is like more masculine and this one, of course, it, it fits me better. The other one is from my husband. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think I'm gonna ask my husband, hold on. Which one you like better? Okay, with the neck like that, I can really see the transformation happening. I feel it. The air is changing. Things are looking differently. And now let's think about more accessories. We can see in that photo that she is wearing boots. However, those pants are a little bit different from this ones because they're not as baggy as the ones that I'm wearing. So that might not work out. They, you can see in the photo that they look a little bit bulky, so I think I might get away with it, but we'll see. If not, we also have the possibility loafers. They're usually so much style with the boot that I would really like this to work out. Come on. <laughs> the moment of truth. This might work out. Okay, so this is totally working out. Even though that I sweat a lot to put these boots on, they're on. And I don't think they're coming out anytime soon. Where am I going with this look? I have no freaking idea because it's February in Chicago. Which means that we probably need to take some pictures just because, just because it's cute. Okay, I just stole this from my husband's closet. Do use a lot of these like kind of like scarves or like handkerchiefs on their neck. Like it looks super cute and they do it over and over and over again. Put it on my neck. Okay, the other one was too small, but this one is from Drake's and it's a little bit bigger. It's, st it's still a pocket square, but it's just a little bit longer. So it does wrap nicely on my neck. I got the feeling that these models smell different. And yesterday I got a pure package from Ralph Lauren and they have their new collection and it couldn't be more appropriate. <laughs> Is this a miracle? Are we connected, Rolf? Just saying. It's like a Valentine's Day thing, so we got two versions. I'm gonna try this one, romance. And you may be asking yourself, how does this smell? I'm gonna tell you. 
smells like all money. I think we're really into character. For the accessories, I saw something like this on their website. And honestly, I really like the way that they mix. Some pieces are really classic. This western vibe, it's a very subtle way and it's just so beautiful. I'm giving them too much. So well, the whole point is that I'm going to wear something that kind of gives me that vibe that I already own. I believe this one is from BCBG. It's a very old bracelet that I really like. And also I'm doing a classic watch, Cartier. Can't really go wrong, classics. So I think it's time to take some pictures to see if we can finally capture the essence and if we actually achieve the goal of this video. So what I'm gonna do today is that I think I'm gonna move this and put it that way a little bit so I have the brick wall as a background just to have some simple ones but now that I was looking my living room through the lens of the camera I realized that my house is not that off from their vibe I think that this bookshelf might actually be pretty cool for the photo and the fireplace because my husband is dying cold right now and with that visual thing I feel like I really need to use it but I, I think I will need to take that off by like that TikTok song like it feels too modern I don't think that Rolf will have a TikTok thing like that I mean may I mean no he wouldn't so we need to take it off Oh, it doesn't fit, but that would have been perfect. That's very rough. You're gonna see in the photos later, but this is my actual background. Think here about my horses. We actually used to have horses. We grow up with that, but that's a different story. Thinking about royalty. I just grabbed a random book just for a prop. Guess the name of the book. Oh, well, you know the... You know. The theory of the leisure class. After watching many, many, many photos, I realized that there's a couple poses that are absolutely very signature of the brand. You know that we love triangles in this YouTube channel, so what they do is that they will have something very structured, and just to give it a little bit more rhythm, they would put their hand in on their pocket, not the other one, and then really much relax their hips. They might be looking away, it's a little bit more editorial, but when they do the catalog ones, they're normally looking at the camera. If you sometimes wonder if you should or shouldn't look at the camera, they're both really good options. It's just that when you're looking away from the camera, you got the feeling they caught you taking that photo instead of actually being engaged in the photo. Well, when you take a portrait that is, you're looking at the camera, it's a little bit more engaged. So you're definitely aware of the camera and everything that's happening. So they might give you two different feelings. 